lot of people nowadays they think that to come to God is all about what God can do for them but they don't realize that God has already done everything for them you know they're looking for cars and houses and and and, and their best life now but they don't realize the reason that we come to God is so that we can get to know him you know it's so that we can get to know his ways because if there is no sin in heaven and we see that we are we are sinful we are prone to sin that means he has to work on us here on earth he has to separate us from our sins down here so that we can even be acceptable in the kingdom of God well we know that Jesus Christ came and he lived he lived a perfect life the Bible said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so the gift of God was given which was the son Jesus Christ was the manifestation of God Almighty but the, but the reason a lot of people stumble at this and they think that Jesus Christ and the gospel is all about rubbish and nonsense is because they they complicate it the fact is that the reason why this world is so wicked and evil it all starts in our heart out of the heart comes pride out of the heart comes greed out of the heart comes lust and no other religion dares to ta tackle this problem of the indwelling issues of evil and sin in us but Jesus Christ did and that's why he was God Almighty he came into the world and he said look this is your problem this is why the world is like it is and man hated him for it they hated him for he spoke the truth because it pierced the heart and when the word of God comes at you it will either do either it will pierce you or, or, or you will be offended by it you know either you will turn and repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ or your heart will be hardened and the more your heart get hardened is the harder for you to receive the gospel but today you can receive the gospel today you can come to God and repent and say Lord forgive me I'm willing to turn I want to read one scripture for you in John 3 verse 12 it says if I have told you earthly things and you do not believe how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things so Jesus was saying I can't even tell you what I want to tell you I can't even explain to you how beautiful how glorious heaven will be because the simple you you, you stumble at the simple the simple message of the gospel the simple message of the gospel is Jesus Christ dying for our sins so that we can know God so that we can have part in the kingdom of God but if we reject if we stumble at that simple part and we refuse to obey and turn then it's at our fault and it says in verse 18 he who believes in him is not condemned but he who does not believe in him is condemned already because he has not believed on the name of the only begotten Son of God so a person who refused to believe who refused to to come to God and repent of their sin the Bible said they already condemned that does not mean they can't come to God at the latest state but as long as they're in that state of unbelief the Bible said they're condemned and we know that condemnation when God say condemn it means a sentence is already passed that means in the courts of heaven if you die right then and now when you stand before God you will have no no advocate you will have no hope of being right with God why because you have refused the only hope the only hope is Jesus Christ and in verse 19 it say and this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light why because their deeds were evil the problem why men don't come to the light the problem why men refuse to to, to, to re receive Jesus Christ and turn from their sins and follow him is because they refuse the light 
when the light is shown when the light shines on your soul and you see the 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 the, the vileness of who you are and you see a holy God a righteous God and you know that one sin with him is enough to to, 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 to for him to condemn you for all eternity and you see how many sins you have committed you see your lusting you see your hatred you're seeing your envy your jealousy your gossiping your your adultery you see all the sins that you've committed a lot of people reject the light they say I don't want to see that light but the Bible said that he who comes to the light and receive receive from God and, and ask forgiveness and repent and are willing to turn and to follow God the Bible said that that person won't be forgiven. So the, the, the thing is not to reject the light. The thing is to accept the light. To, to, to come to God and trust in Him. And have a lively hope. For God is not lying to us. He's speaking the truth. You know that we, you know that we sin. I know that we sin. He knows that we sin. Because He made us. And He knows that we have all fallen from grace. We have all fallen away from the truth. But He has made a way. And my friends... If you do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life, He loves you. He died for your sins. He paid a penalty. He paid a penalty. He was crucified. He was crushed. He was beaten. He was stoned. He was mocked. The creator of the universe, He came as a man, as a servant, and He has shown us the way into His kingdom. Now, if we refuse the way into His kingdom, then we won't make it. It's the same way if somebody gives me direction to get to Baltimore or get, get to D.C., Washington, and I say, you know what, once I start driving, I say, you know what, I don't feel like taking this highway. I'm going to take this highway. I'm going to get lost. And that's exactly what God has done to, for us in the Holy Bible. He has given us specific directions how to get to His home, how to get to heaven. And the direction is simple, to repent. Repent means to turn from sin and to love God and to obey Him. That's the direction. To learn from Him now because He will not allow us into His home. He will not allow us back into His presence if we're still in our sinful state. And that's why hell and all these stuff were discussed in the Bible and, 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 and talked about by Jesus Christ. If, if you refuse to, to present yourself, to, to learn from God, to, to learn His ways, why would He want you in His presence if you're going to bring that same sinfulness, hatred, evil heart into His glorious presence where there is no sin? So we can come to God now and repent and all of our sins be forgiven and then we can allow God to start cleaning us up, to start cutting off the things that God hates, and to start giving us a new, a new way of life, a new way of living, and so that we may be prepared to enter into His heaven, to enter into His house, to know your God, to know your Creator. So my friends, if you're not saved, get saved. Jesus is coming. He's the way, the truth, and the life. He loves you. The rapture is near. Judgment is coming. Prepare, dear friends.